Whiskey. I said whiskey pig. Senor. Better get my brother a whiskey quick, friend, or he's gonna put a bullet in you. Forgive me, senor. My name's Jesse Landon. This here's my brother, Brett. Have you heard of him? I don't think so, senor. This is a very small town. Me and my brother are looking for somebody. People told us we could find him here. The name, senor? Frank Morgan. I do not know anyone by that name. You lie, amigo. Everybody knows Frank Morgan. Why is it so damn quiet in here? Play some music. Where are you going, Chiquita? You stay up there and dance. Are you too stupid to understand English? I said dance, damn it! Leave her alone. So, you're Frank Morgan. My name's Jesse Langdon. This is my brother, Brett. I know who you are. What do you got in mind? What we got in mind is people saying you're real fast, Frank. And you know something funny? I think my brother's a little faster. We don't have to do this. Let me buy you a drink. I'll drink later. No, you won't. You'll be dead. Both of you. When he takes out that gun, you'll be dead. He's the one who's gonna be dead, lady. I saw you slap leather with that bartender. You're really fast, kid. But you ain't gonna make it. Don't do this to yourself. Please. Please. Don't listen to him, little brother. He's trying to rally you. You can do it. You can do it. You're younger and you're faster. Look, he's an old man, for Christ's sake. Look at him, he's yellow. He's scared of you. He's got piss swelling up in his eyes. Listen, what do we write all the way out here from Kansas for anyhow? So you can have your name written on the wind forever, right? So what's it gonna be? You or him? Do it. Do it, boy. Do it, now! I was just a kid. Wait, wait. I'll give you an edge. I ain't no gunfighter. My brother, he was a gunfighter. He, he ain't my real brother. He's my half-brother. What are you done? Why? Please, don't. Take it out. Please. Do it! Please. Slow.
this little town. Full of some female dogs. We think. Senor Morgan, Rosa, a telegram. Not now, Benito. But it must be now, Rosita. See what it says. Benito. Who? Benito. Oh, my head. I'm blind. Who? It was Benito, Frank. What did he want? Benito? Yeah. Nothing. <sighs> Came a long way in this heat for nothing. What's going on, Rosa? I told you, Frank, nothing. I've got to see if I can... Rosa. Here. This is for you. You'll find out sooner or later anyway. Take it, Frank. Pick it up and read it. I'll never see you again. Crazy gringo, Frank. My sister told me not to love a crazy gringo.
Because they chopped off too much hair. No, it was in Waco. Oh, and he shot himself a fry cook, Harry, for giving him indigestion. Oh, that was 64. He shot four men dead in a bar, and they hung a son of a bitch from a barber pole. Oh, they hung him. Yeah. But it was in 68. And it weren't from no barber pole, neither. You're still too young. But you were married when you were 16. Yes, I was. Then I don't understand why I have to wait. Because I think you need a couple of more Come years. Come on, Mom. Don't you remember what it was like when you were in love with Dad? Yes, I remember. <laughs> don't I? I've got pins in my hands, Kristen. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Will you stop mm. fidgeting? I can't. <laughs> What is the matter I, with I you? I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm going to explode. If I don't... Mom, stop fussing with me. Okay. Let me look at it. No. The neckline needs to be lower. I think the neckline is low enough. Come on, Mom. All right. Go across the street. Ask your father. If he says that it's okay, then I will lower it a little. Don't spend all afternoon flirting with Spot. If you want to wear that dress tonight, I still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't see you. What happened to your arm? What? What happened to your arm? I broke it. How'd you do that? The falling off a horse. You did, huh? Yeah, I gotta go. That ain't Morgan. He's down in Colorado. No, no more, he ain't. He's right here in Red Pine. I'm telling you, Harry. I'm telling you. That's Frank Morgan. Damn, look at his horse. He's been doing some hard riding.
beautiful dreamer. Wake unto me, starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. I don't know much about necklines. How much lower do you want it? Just a little. Hey, storekeeper. Well, if you want it lower, then that's the way it should be. I'm talking to you, storekeeper. I hear you. I'm hungry. You'll get fed when it's time. Yeah, like all the rest of the hogs. You really think you're fast, don't you, kid? Hell, I know guys would blow you away before you could spit. You know what you remind me of, Morris? Leave it be, Spud. A turd with lips. Come on over here, honey. I'll show you where you can put your neckline. You want your mouth around her, saddle tramp? Yes, sir, Mr. Storekeeper. You got me so scared, I got the diarrhea. What are you Jesus, Spud. Shoot him, kid. Shoot the old fart. For Christ's sake, Harry, you know better than to come barging in here like that. What do you want, anyway? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. You, you, you aren't going to believe this, Jordan. You are not going to believe it. What ain't I going to believe? Frank Morgan just rode into town. Damn. Who's Frank Morgan? Jordan, who's Frank Morgan? He's some kind of gunfighter. Oh, no, he ain't. Calling Frank Morgan a gunfighter is like calling a desert dry. He's a hell of a lot more than a gunfighter, Jordan. Oh, he's an honest to God, a uh, walk around legend. That's what Frank Jesus, Morgan Jesus, Harry. Shut up. Oh, Koshal. Sure. I think I met him. He almost ran over me. That's right. I seen you. That was Frank Morgan. You think he come to Spring Morris? No, he ain't come to Spring Morris. He come to convert everybody to the baby Jesus. Let's go find out why he's here. Spud, no gunplay. Hey, kid, why don't you try pulling that gun on Frank Morgan? <laughs> Get on back to the store. Why? Just do what I say, please. What the hell are you people doing out here? Frank Morgan's in there. I don't care who it is. Just get on about your business. You can't give me no order. I ain't gonna tell you again, Howard. Now move out. That goes for everybody. Come on, move out. You too, Harry. Oh, come on, Jordan. I'm the one to recognize get them. Oh. That is Morgan in there, you. Let me handle this. Take care of myself. I don't care. But you don't have to do the talking, all right? You're the boss. Afternoon. Mind if I sit down? Move. You Frank Morgan? Who are you? Jordan Yarnell, temporary sheriff. This here's my deputy, Spud Walker. Where's the real one? The real one? Sheriff. He got shot. You're packing a lot of iron there, kid. I can use it, too. You can, huh? What do you want here, Morgan? Coffee. 
We got a prisoner over in the jail. Jack Morris. We're gonna hang him next week. That's nice. Now, maybe you didn't hear him right. We're gonna hang Morris next week. Listen, Mr. Temporary Sheriff, I don't care if you hang Ulysses S. Grant. It ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm just passing through. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. You're stupid. Please, Patron, I'm sorry. Well, clean it up. See, Patron, Some fool could slip and break their neck. Patron. Your deputy has hooked yourself to a short fuse there, Mr. Temporary Sheriff. Now, wait a minute. You just remember what I said. We're gonna hang him. Ain't nobody gonna stop us, neither. How long you plan on staying in Red Pine, Morgan? As long as I want. And nobody can stop me, neither. Come on, Spud. Come on, I said. Jordan, you see the way he kept me in front of him? And those eyes, I ain't never seen that way from him. You hear me? He's dangerous. Now, you promise me, damn it. If anybody has to talk to him, it's gonna be me, you understand? I understand. I keep telling you. I know, I know. You can take care of yourself. be on his knees. It's a very bad place to be. A man on his knees is only half a man. Do you know a place where I can stay and get some food that doesn't taste like a gringo cow pissed on it? There is a house. But it may not be for a man. Of your exceptional taste. What are you looking at? You better clean up that mess, or someone might slip on it and break their fool neck. Did you hear what I said, you jackass? Pick up a broom. Clean it up. My woman is a pretty good cook. We do not have much, but you are welcome in my house. Gracias, senor. You are right, amigo. It is not a good place to be on the knees.
Am I gonna see you later? You just try and keep me away. I hear you and I understand. Well, all I'm saying is we can't go off half caught just because Frank Morgan rides in. I don't think you know what kind of man you're dealing with. And you do? I took a bullet out of him back in Abilene a few years ago. Two men shot him in the back, left him for dead. He crawled on his hands and knees, three blocks, and settled the score. <laughs> Gentlemen. We've been talking, Jordan, and we figured maybe we'd hire Morgan to help us. We don't need him, Reverend. But, Jordan, when we appointed you, Sheriff... Now, hold on, Bob. Nobody appointed me anything. I agreed to fill in until Morris gets hanged. Once that's done, I'm going back to work in the store. But, Jordan, we really... That's enough, Judge. It's the end of it. No one has any objections. I'd like to enjoy my dinner in peace. people your dog <laughs> he's not my dog he just showed up one day he comes he goes you know I was thinking it will do no good to talk to the bartender he will only hurt me after you're gone for a while he will worry about you coming back but then he will hurt me I'm sorry Juan oh you don't have to be sorry, Senor Morgan. Besides, it will be worth any pain he can give me. You see, he will never forget that I have seen him on his knees. And a man on his knees is just a half a man. Come. I will take you to a place where you can sleep. It is no far. I need to ask you a favor, amigo. Someone's following me. I don't know who it is. But he's been behind me ever since I left Colorado. I need someone to watch my back for a couple of days. You think you can do that? I will watch for him, Senor Morgan. He will not slip past me. I promise. Well, he likes the dark. He won't be coming straight at me. Come at me from behind. What's that? Music. I beg your pardon, man. Would you be offended if I told you I find you very attractive? Not at all, sir. Then, might I inquire if you are romantically attached yes I am to a very handsome man whom I adore with all my heart Off, huh? Can I help you with something? What do you got in mind?
Frank. You look pretty. Thank you. You, you still wear... This? You've been hurt. The other sons of bitches got it worse than me. I heard. I don't think it's funny, Frank. <laughs> you don't. No. You haven't changed much. I'm sorry. Forget it. Dress, is she mine? What? The girl with the cast on her arm, is she my daughter? Yes. She looks like you when you were 17. Does she know about me? No. And I don't ever want her to, Frank. She has a father who loves her just as much as if she were his own. She didn't have to grow up wondering if one day he was going to be shot dead in the street. What do you want, Linda? Why did you send me this telegram? Owns the general store. The temporary sheriff. He's a good man, Frank. But he's in way over his head. How's that? Three drifters came into town a couple of weeks ago. They tried to rob the bank. The sheriff was killed. Everybody, everybody was just shooting at anything that moved. The whole town went crazy. My husband had a shotgun. I'm not even sure that he actually hit anything. But when it was over, everybody convinced him that he was some kind of a hero. One of the drifters was wounded. They had a trial, and they're going to hang him. Jack Morris. Do you know him? No, but I know his cousin, Walt Shannon. Jesus, Frank. Is there any scum in this entire country you haven't run with? Walt Shannon is in territorial prison. He's being released tomorrow. The warden says as soon as he gets out, he's coming here to get Morris. My husband thinks that the town will back him. But they won't. He'll be left all alone. Shannon will kill him. I don't suppose I have to ask you what it is you want me to do. You are some kind of woman, you know that? Sixteen years ago, you ran me off. You told me you'd rather kill yourself than have my child. What kind of a father so would I you have been, Frank? With my I tail begged between you my... to I've quit. I've never done that. I can't quit. There's no quitting. I tried. I was crazy to think I could ask you crazy. for help. Crazy? You want to know how crazy I am? I actually believed you might want me. And not Frank Morgan, the gunfighter. Let go of me. Me? And now I can't even talk to my own let daughter. Let go of me, Frank. I ain't gonna kill somebody for you. Damn it, let me go! I pity you. You're a dead man already. I can see it in your eyes. They used to be so full of life, but not anymore. 
You have one thing to look forward to. Lying face down in the street. And there'll be no one there to cry for you. Jordan to come in here with a shotgun. No. So where have you been anyway? Waiting for your damn mother to get home. She went out someplace? Yeah. Where? How the hell should I know? Spud, <laughs> stop. <laughs> We'll be married and we'll never have to stop. Yeah. Never. No. Mm, Spud. Tell me what Morgan's like. What? Freddie Morgan. What's it like talking? Chris, I'm going to explode any second. You want to know about Frank Morgan? Good. I'm curious. Tell me. Well, he has a cult peacemaker. He's oh, such a trick. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I mean, what does he it feel like when you're talking to him? Does he scare you? You crazy, you know that? Tell me, please. Okay. Yeah, he's scary. It's just like in my gunfighter books. He's in total control. He moves like a spring. Wound up too tight or something. He sees everything. I mean, everything. He's got these really strange eyes. Mm -hmm. Like yours. He is cock of the walk. Lord of the universe.
out, Senor Morgan. I have done nothing. No, no, listen to me. I caused you some trouble. Oh, no, no. It has been a pleasure to have you with us. You are always welcome in my house. This is for you. Oh, this Put is your not... Y lo esperamos. Pardon me. Where, where, where are you going, Morgan? He's leaving. What? How do you know? He's leaving, I tell you. Looks like Jordan called it right, isn't it? Jordan! He's leaving! This is down the stables. He's leaving! Oh. Morgan! Just like he said he would. Are you sure? Come see for yourself. Going. A man like that? Who knows? What's the matter with her? Damn if I know. Come on, we got work to do. Not a little girl, and I'm not afraid of you. Yes, you are. You're scared, pea green. Like hell, I am. father was a major with Stonewall Jackson, but he got killed in the first battle of Bull Run. They gave him all kinds of medals, you know? Everybody worshipped him. He was the bravest hero of all, but he died before I was born, so I never actually got to see him. And Mom doesn't talk about him very much. But you know what? What? Every once in a while, I'll dream about him. I can almost see his face. And I talk to him sometimes, even though he is dead. Do you think that's crazy? No. Just wish I could have known him. <laughs> what if you could? <laughs> no, how could I do that, silly? He's dead. <laughs> Spud says it's crazy. 
talking to a dead man. <laughs> he always tells me. Next thing you know, he'll be answering you back. <laughs> Wait, you met Spud in the saloon yesterday. What'd you think of him? <laughs> We're gonna get married next year, as soon as I finish high school. Mom thinks I'm too young. I don't think she likes him very much. <laughs> what do you think? Spud. He's all right. He is, huh? You'd really like him if you got to know him. Practices with his gun every single day. You know, he's really fast, Mr. Morgan. Maybe you're not as good as you. He is, huh? <laughs> he thinks he shot the guy who tried to rob the bank yesterday, and <laughs> tell you what, as soon as that Walt Shannon gets in town, Spud will probably shoot him, too. Hmm. Spud says that you have eyes like mine. Do you think your eyes are like mine? Why'd you bring me up here? You must have had a reason. <laughs> Sometimes I just do things I can't explain. <laughs> Me too. I'm just like that. <laughs> Look, I'm finished. See? Ta da! <laughs> you know, everybody's gonna be out looking for me. Yeah. You reckon they will? So, are you gonna take me back? Yeah. What's that? Somebody's name. It's your name. Can I have it? If you want. Mm. Mr. Morgan. Can I see you shoot? No. Everybody's gonna ask me why you brought me up here. Don't and all I'll be able to say is that you gave me a piece of wood with your silly name on it. Shoot like that? Jump up. It was so fast. Oh, my eyes, can he really shoot like that? Yeah, Walt Shannon can shoot like that. Oh, all right here. Kristen, get down. <sighs> Mom, I saw Morgan shoot the house. Get in the house now. Did you tell her? I didn't tell her anything. How could I? I've been dead since the Battle of Bull Run, ain't I? You could just leave it alone, could you, Frank? What is it you want? I don't know. Stay around a couple of days. I hear tell that a lady is going to become a widow woman with a pretty daughter. I don't know. Anyhow, tell me when you look in her eyes, you don't see me.
You're gonna kill me now. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? You're losing a lot of blood. You're getting a little better. You're getting a little better. Elena! Forget about the lantern for now. You're not holding down. Okay, Doctor. Doctor? I don't know. Maybe. He's as strong as an ox. Oh. What? What is it, amigo? Tequila. It's all my fault. I should have watched out for you. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I forgot who I was for a moment. Been through this a few times, haven't you, Ace? You got more lives than a cat, you know that? I know you. I wouldn't go that far. You've danced this dance before. I took that bullet out of your shoulder in Abilene. I'm grateful. For what? I don't think I've done any great service to the human race. Ah! Bitch. I'm gonna kill you. He's in here. Teddy, this way. What the hell did you do to her, you bastard? Answer Grab me. It. Answer me, you gang here. Get off my gully, Zach. Gordon, Jordan, stop it. I don't care who the hell you are, Morgan. Stop it, Jordan. Take you to the talk. Get away. Take some Kristen from the school, Doc. Shut up, Spud. Let me go. Let him go. Go oh, with me. I'm not going to hurt him. All right. Watch him. If you so much as touched her, I'm going to kill you. Do you understand me? And if you don't, I will. Wounds are opened up again. We're gonna have to start all over. Doctor, look. Una pistola.
Kristen all right? She's fine. She's sleeping. I don't know what the hell that bastard thought he was doing. Taking her off like that. If he did anything to her. Jordan, can we please just leave? Can we what? Leave. Just pack up our things and go. I can't do that. Why? Linda, people are dependent on me. Christ, why all of a sudden is everybody depending on you? You have too much faith in people, Jordan. Listen to me. You don't have to tell me about what I am. I know exactly what I am. you something a long time ago no, wait but let me say my piece first and then you can tell me whatever you want i've never been so happy in my whole life as the day you said you'd marry me And I figured we'd have a good life, you and me and Kristen. But something came up that I never counted on. What? Ghosts, I think. Ghosts? Yeah. Yeah, ghosts, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes I wonder if you feel the same way about Kristen's father that she does. He's dead, for God's sake. That's the point, Linda. I never fought in the damn war. I never had a chance to be a hero. The other day, after all that shooting, Everybody said they were amazed. Jordan, the stop I... it. I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean to upset you, you. Please don't say you're sorry. It's not your fault. I don't understand. I love you so much. You're such a good man. Please just hold me. Listen to me. It's important that we're all together on this. Why is that so important to you, Bob? You implying something? Implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm saying it out loud. God, you'd sell your mother to save your weasel skin. <laughs> Damn it, Doc. I'm the mayor. I'm not thinking of myself here. I know what's best for Red Pine. We put Peterson and two other guns here on the top of the bank, and the judge and three more down at the north end of the street. How many guns we got all together? I figure 30, maybe more. We'll spread them out all through the... It's open, Harry. All right, everybody, come in. What do you want, Harry? Well, I want to come in. So what's stopping you? Well, last time he almost shot my freaking head off. And you said to let Harry, come back. Harry, Harry, Harry. You can come in. Oh. You sleep on an anthill or something? Huh? Every time I see you, you're scratching yourself. 
Yeah, that's right. I was wondering about that, too. I think it's fleas. Yeah, I think I get fleas. See, Tom's got this old cat over at the saloon I was petting him. Harry. What? What do you want? What do I want? Oh, yeah, uh, Peterson. Uh, Bob Peterson and the others are over at the saloon. So? Well, they sent me over here to get you. They got but something why the hell didn't you say so in the first place? I did, I did, didn't I? I swear I to God, Harry, sometimes I talking to you is like going to the bottom I, of a mine I, I, without I, I, a lantern. I said the... All right, Bob. What's so damn important? We received a telegram from the warden at the prison this morning, Jordan. It's about Shannon. And this is the telegram. You want to sit down? No, I don't want to sit down. All right. Now, Jordan, none of us want to turn this town into a shooting gallery, especially after last night's violence. It's only prudent that we consider all our options. Spud and I were just going over the plans. I know, I, I know, but this telegram changes everything. When Shannon was released this morning, there were two hard cases waiting for him at the gate. Two of them. They all rode off together. The warden thinks they're heading here. They're professional gunmen, Jordan. We are not. We can handle them if we stick together. I think we should let Morris go. What did you say? What harm would it do? The money's still in the bank. Why do we have to hang him? He killed the sheriff. The sheriff's dead, damn it. Nobody can bring him back. But if we play our cards right, we could manage to save a few of our own lives. Jesus. We only let Morris go after he agrees to ride out and tell Shannon what we've done. No hard feelings. Nobody gets shot. Have any of you thought about what'll happen if we turn Morris loose? Then there'll be four of them on our butts instead of three. He, he's right, damn it. No, he's, he's right. If you won't listen to reason, then you're gonna have to deal with this problem yourself. Is that the way you all feel? Doc. There's nothing I like better than to give you a hand, Jordan. But I take bullets out of people. I don't think I've got the spine to put bullets in them. We did pull up stakes. I mean, there ain't nothing to keep us here, really, is there? If you stay, you'll both get shot. Morgan said that Shannon will kill the both of you. I don't want to hear that saddle crap's name in this house ever again. Jordan, please. I mean it. Everything started going wrong the second that man rode into town. Daddy wouldn't have run. I cannot take this any longer. What's the matter? This has got to stop. Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. Are you awake? 
awake. I'm awake. Is someone to see you? Huh? La señora. Everyone pulled out, left my husband on his own. He won't run away. He'll be killed. By tomorrow night, he'll be dead. And it's all my fault. I wanted Kristen to be proud of her father. That's why I made up all those lies. That's why I told her you were a war hero. And now Jordan feels he has to live up to a man who never even existed. Christ. What have I done? Go away with you, Frank. I'll tell Kristen that you're her real father. That's what you want. I know it is. That's why you took her yesterday. I'll do anything you ask if you just keep him from dying. Was coming out of the woodwork from all directions, all trying to blow my head off. Because I'm Frank Morgan. And I'm fast as the hell. And all I ever really wanted was to go back, start again. That's why I came running when he said that telegram like some kind of lovesick kid. I 
I'm so sorry, Frank. I shouldn't have said those things I said the other night. I did love you once. With every breath I took. And if you ever do fall, Frank, I will cry for you. I have, I have to go. Inside. See if they got the coffee on. All right, Walt. Nobody in there but the bartender. He's peeing on himself in the back. Come on over here, you. What's your name? Um, Tom. You know who I am, Tom? Uh, yes, sir, uh, Mr. Shannon. Well, these are a couple of friends of mine, Tom. This here's Boise. He's a back shooter and a whiner, but he'd kill you dead. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. And this here now, that's Julio. Julio likes to sing, but you probably don't want to hear him sing, do you, Tom? No, 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 no sir. That, uh, I don't need to hear him sing. That's fine. You got a marshal or a sheriff around here, Tom? That'd be Jordan Yarnell. He's only temporary. Well, you're probably right about that, Tom. Now I want you to... Find me this temporary sheriff. You tell him that Walt Shannon is over here waiting for him. I want you to tell him he's got kin of mine in that jail of his. And I want to inquire as to visitation rights. Gee, that's funny, Walt. No, it ain't. You're right. Ain't funny at all. No matter what happens, I love you. Jordan, please. You can't come this time, son. What are you talking about? Somebody has to stay here and look after everybody. Jordan, please, I'm I have to tell you Linda. something. No, I've been lying to you about something. It doesn't something. make any difference. No, Nothing I'm makes any difference. Oh! My face. Stop it! No! This little girl loves you. If you feel the same about her, you marry her. But if you ever put a gun in your hand again, I'll hear about it. And so help me God, I will find you and I will kill you, graveyard dead. Do you understand me? I hate 
need you. I hope you die. He's not gonna die. He's gonna have a hell of a headache. But he's all in one piece. Just like you want it. What about you? What about me? How many you say? Three, senor. All right. Damn. You can make it? When they come out in the street, they're gonna to try to get as far apart as they can. I'll take Shannon and one further step. You take the closest one. The closest one? If Shannon is the closest, I'll take him. You take the one next to him. Listen, you don't hesitate. For Christ's sake, when I drop this rifle, you cut the bastard in half. Don't let me... Stand out there pissing in the wind. You think you can manage that old man? I hope so. Well, you better do a lot more than hope so. But we're gonna be dead as doornails in a couple of minutes. Shannon! Stop. What's the matter? I know that voice. Well, who is it? Hey, Walt, get your ass out here. Morgan. Frank Morgan? Jesus, Walt, you said this. Shut Jesus. up. I wonder what he's doing here. What are you doing in there, Shannon? Playing with yourself? What are you doing here, Frank? Standing in for Yarnell. <laughs> Standing in. You all by yourself, Frank? You don't look too good. Somebody get mad at you, Frank. Come on, Walt. Let's get this over with. This here's Frank Morgan, fellas. Mom, why is he doing still, Kristen? He's still in watch. Frank would be standing in for you now. But 
that he's having a little trouble just standing. Ain't that right, Frank? Why don't I get rid of this? Why did you do just that? broke open. There's no bullets. There's no bullets. No gun. I didn't mean it. It was, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Don't shoot. I quit. Sweet Jesus. I am sorry. The shot gonna go off. Oh. I was afraid. Get my horse. Lord moves in mysterious ways. Mysterious hell. That was miraculous. You realize, Judge, this put the town of Red Pine on the map. Yeah, show more law and order town, too. something about your real father. No, no, it's better your way, Linda. No, it's not. What? What about my real father? Why did you kill Shannon? Why did you do that? I don't know. Sometimes I do things I can't explain. I'm a lot like you. Called you Linda. Yes, he did. But how did he know your name? I used to know him a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. 